Hola, hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Hola, buenas noches. Bien. Perfecto, perfecto. Bueno. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Mucho gusto a todos. Veo que ya tengo algún, algunas personas por acá conectado. Les agradezco su puntualidad. Eh, mi nombre es Gonzalo Chávez. Como les comentaba, bueno, algunos que ya pudieron ingresar al, al chat de WhatsApp, pues les, en la tarde les saludé para decirles que yo era el tutor encargado. Como les comento, mi nombre es Gonzalo Chávez y vamos a a estar trabajando en este curso que es inglés para el trabajo, eh, específicamente en el módulo 4, ¿verdad? Eh, voy a iniciar con ciertas, ciertos lineamientos que vamos a tener durante las videoconferencias, pues para sacar el mayor provecho y pues que podamos alcanzar el objetivo que es aprender un nuevo idioma, ¿verdad? Eh, les, voy a, les voy a solicitar que en la mayoría, no en toda la videoconferencia, tengamos por favor el micrófono apagado. Algunos yo veo que lo tienen apagado y les agradezco por eso. El objetivo de eso es para que por lo menos el audio, cuando se esté explicando algo, pues todo lo podamos escuchar. Ese es el objetivo principal, porque recuérdese que creo que todos estamos de, de, de nuestros hogares y pues de repente hay, hay sonidos externos que pueden interrumpirlo. Tal vez usted no los escucha, pero su micrófono sí lo capta y los compañeros sí lo escuchan. Y entonces se interrumpe. Si en su casa, pues, usted vive con más personas, obviamente, pues, eh, no hay ningún problema. Pero tratemos de mantener el micrófono apagado. Yo le voy a dar indicaciones cuando lo vamos a poder encender porque vamos a participar. Esto no va a ser solo un monólogo mío, sino que la, lo interesante y lo importante es que todos, todos, todos practiquemos y podamos expresar el idioma. Okay. Nada más darle los lineamientos. Eh, les quisiera hacer una pregunta. No sé si ya pudieron accesar a la plataforma que vamos a estar utilizando, que sería eh, lo de inglés corporativo. Ahí si, si pueden encender el micrófono y me confirman, me hacen el favor. Creo que se les habrá mandado un correo con la información. Y pregúntales sí si ya pudieron. Sí, sí ya. Ya, yo incluso ya la tengo abierta acá en mi computadora. Yo no pude accesar, hace un momento lo intenté y no, no me permitió. Ok, perfecto. Eh, igual, si tienen alguna pregunta o alguna duda, pueden mensajear en el grupo de WhatsApp y ahí se les puede atender. Ahí tenemos también compañeros que son del área técnica y les pueden ayudar en cualquier duda que ustedes tengan, si no pueden accesar o algún proceso. Okay. Eso no habría ningún problema. Les, si algunos de ustedes ya han visto, vamos a ver, permítame. Si alguno de ustedes ya ha visto la plataforma, pues se habrá dado cuenta. Les voy a compartir. Lo vamos a hacer un poco rápido porque necesito que entendamos la mecánica de cómo vamos a estar trabajando. No sé si logran ver lo que les estoy proyectando del sitio web. Sí. ¿Sí? sí. Perfecto, sí, 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 perfecto. Sí, sí, sí. Bien, entonces, ese es el módulo ingreso principiante 4 que vamos a estar desarrollando y va a ser nuestra ayuda para tener refuerzo de estas clases. Si usted ve, tiene cuatro secciones, cada sección equivale a una semana, ¿verdad? De lo que vamos a estar desarrollando contenidos. Si usted le da la sección 1, que es la que ya está abierta o desplegada, usted va a ver que tiene el tema Purchasing and Story, que es el tema de esta primera unidad. Al abrirlo, usted va a ver eh, acá que dice videoconferencia 1. No sé si ustedes son nuevos en esta, en esta plataforma o en esta modalidad, pero comentarles que las videoconferencias quedan grabadas, ¿verdad? Y al final eh, el objetivo de eso es que nosotros tengamos un acceso extra. ¿verdad? Eso se sube acá a la plataforma y también tenemos una lista de reproducción en YouTube donde usted va a poder revisar la videoconferencia. El objetivo de esto, como les digo, es que nosotros tengamos una práctica extra. Bien, entonces en estos espacios usted va a ver que tenemos videoconferencia 1. A medida vayamos desarrollando el curso, ahí van a ir apareciendo los videos. Si se fija acá, dice tarea número 1. 
al darle clic, le despliega un pequeño formulario con preguntas de repaso de lo que vamos a estar practicando en cada sesión. Si ve ahí, tenemos creo que cinco items. Es corto. A una tarea puntual para ver y eh, para chequear que hemos comprendido el tema. Después nos vamos y ahí va a ir viendo sucesivamente. Ahí dice videoconferencia 2, tarea 2, videoconferencia 3, tarea 3 y así sucesivamente. Quiere decir que para cada, para, para cada videoconferencia, cada clase que tengamos, va a existir una tarea. ¿Ok? Así que les voy a pedir su colaboración para que hagamos el esfuerzo de completar las tareas. Recuérdese que el mejor amigo que usted tiene ahorita es la práctica. Eso es lo bonito del inglés. Entre más lo practicamos, pues ahí vamos a ir aprendiendo. Y ese es el objetivo. Igual la sección 2 es, tiene la unidad 2, sección 3, unidad 3. Y la sección 4, como les comentaba, equivale a la unidad 4. Si se fija acá... En la semana 2 tenemos un examen que dice midterm. Ese ya es un examen un poquito más amplio y considerando los contenidos que se han estudiado en las primeras dos semanas. Tenemos un examen ahí de medio curso. Y al final tenemos acá también en la sección 4, que equivale a la semana 4, tenemos ahí un examen final. Igual ese toma en cuenta los temas que se han desarrollado en el curso. Así que eh, les animo a que nosotros pues vayamos completando la información a medida vayamos eh, progresando en el curso, ¿verdad? Esa es la, la metodología que nosotros vamos a estar utilizando pues para el progreso de esto, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver, déjenme ver por acá. Les voy a explicar también una de las... Eh, de, las, de los lineamientos que nosotros tenemos y es que para eh, asistencia, pues ustedes saben que se lleva un, una asistencia de cada uno de nosotros. Vamos a estar pasando asistencia. Yo por aquí voy a tener un, un mi documento a la mano. Por el momento lo voy a hacer físico, pero yo después haré un, un documento. Eh, recuérdense que mi compañera les comentaba acerca de las diferentes eh, requisitos que era estar conectado, ¿verdad? En estas videoconferencias y también, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Tenemos que estar todo el tiempo acá conectados, ¿verdad? Ese es el objetivo de estar acá en las clases. Para eso, pues, voy a estar pasando asistencia. Lo vamos a hacer como que estamos presencialmente. Y le voy a pedir que por ahí participen y me diga presente. O si nos vamos al inglés, nos vamos I'm here. Eso podría ser una de, la, de, las, de las formas en que podemos nosotros eh, participar, ¿verdad? Para estar acá y dar eh, evidencia de nuestra presencia, ¿ok? Así que le voy a solicitar que en este momento iniciemos con la asistencia. Vamos a ver, eh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Present, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me see. Uh, Elsie, Janet. Juan present teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's see, Noemi Córdoba. Hello, hello. No, me. Hello, hello. No, me. Hello, hello. Present. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's see, Fabiola Silva. Present. Thank you so much. Eh, Sulaima Ibon. I'm here, teacher. Much. Marvin Wilfredo. I'm here. Thank you so much. Let's see. Edgar Alfredo. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And Jennifer Magali. Present. Thank you so much. Let's see. Josué Alberto. Present teacher. All right. Thank you so much. Let me see. Let me check on my document here. Let's see. Uh, Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado. Present teacher. All right, thank you so much for your participation on this. Let's see, is there any other person? Let's see, let me check. Jennifer, Jose, Mariela, Marvin, I mean. 
¿Hay alguien que habré dejado fuera que no haya mencionado de los presentes? Right here, teacher, Julio Cesar Hernández. Okay, thank you so much, Julio Cesar. Sorry, I didn't see the name on this one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, mister. Don't worry about it. Okay, bien, excelente. Vamos a ver, como les comentaba, gracias a todos por confirmar su asistencia. Eh, bueno, vamos a iniciar. No sé si ya tienen ustedes o han descargado el manual que nosotros tenemos asignado para este curso. Ese lo encuentra en la plataforma. No sé si alguno de ustedes lo habrá descargado o, lo, o tiene acceso. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. Recuérdense que las clases van a estar basadas siempre en el manual. A veces yo vamos a crear presentaciones, pero la, los ejercicios todos están basados en la plata, en, en, en el manual que usted quiere. Todo esto pues para alcanzar el objetivo y las competencias que nosotros vamos a lograr alcanzar. Le voy a pedir, eh, eh, les agradezco a todos por eh, tener su micrófono apagado y también recordarles que uno de nuestros lineamientos eh, es parte de, de, de lo del curso, es que se tenga la cámara encendida durante toda la videoconferencia. Así que les voy a pedir, creo que hay unos dos compañeros o tres quizás que no tienen su cámara encendida. Recuerden que es uno de los lineamientos eh, que les explica a mis compañeros tener su nombre completo, según Dui, eh, en, en su usuario, y también tener la cámara encendida. Es uno de los requisitos para estar en la clase. Okay. Eh, si usted tiene dudas, siéntase en la libertad de interrumpirme. Usted si puede por ahí levantar la manita con, con las acciones que permite la, esta plataforma de Zoom, usted lo puede hacer. Y si no, pues usted activa su micrófono y me dice, teacher, eh, tengo una pregunta y yo pues con gusto les puedo explicar. Sé que tengo tal vez una cara seria, así, algunos me han dicho, no sé, tengo cara seria, pero... No, todo es tranquilo, ¿verdad? Se puede preguntarme y si pues usted necesita 10 explicaciones, pues entonces yo le voy a explicar 11 veces que esa es mi labor como docente, que usted aprenda, que todos colaboremos, ¿ok? Voy a pedir también que siempre mantengamos un ambiente de respeto. Recuérdese que algunos estamos aprendiendo, tal vez es nuestra primera vez con el idioma, algunos otros tal vez ya tenemos experiencia, pues entonces eso nos ayuda. Pero eh, tengamos siempre el respeto y la tolerancia con los compañeros, pues para que todos logremos alcanzar un objetivo común, que es aprender el idioma inglés. Recuérdese que cada quien va a su ritmo, vamos a ir avanzando según contenidos, pero vamos a llevar un ritmo, pues, eh, un ritmo adecuado para que se logre el objetivo de aprender un idioma inglés. Ok, bien, bien, bien. Ya pasamos con la parte que es la charla introductoria, ¿verdad? De, de, de presentación al curso. Así que, pues, vamos a iniciar en esta parte del inglés. Okay. ¿Cómo vamos a iniciar? Eh, voy a tratar de utilizar el idioma inglés la mayor cantidad de tiempo, si se requiere, pero solo si se requiere. Voy a, voy a, voy a pasarme a español, pero nos vamos a ir acostumbrando a recibir instrucciones y a practicar el idioma inglés desde el inicio. ¿okay? Así que espero que todos tengamos esa, eh, tengamos esa idea en mente pues, para poder eh, practicar. Ese es el objetivo que nosotros tenemos en, este, en, esta, en esta clase. Right? Okay. First of all, I'm going to introduce myself and I will do it in English because, you know, this is an English class. So we're going to do it in that way. Uh, my name is Gonzalo Chavez and I work as a teacher. And I have, let's see, um, five years, no, 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 more than five years of experience. And I like to play video games, right? Something short, a short description about me. Now we're going to try to do the same. And I will begin with Mr. Edgar Alfredo Menjibar. Can you please uh, turn on your microphone, say your name, and give some short information about yourself? Okay. Um, good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Edgar, uh, Edgar Menjibar. Uh, I work, um, um, I work, um, Avicola, Avicola Salvadoreña, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and, 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 and um, supervisor. Oh, interesting. Okay. And okay. tell me, what, 
tell me one hobby you like to play soccer you like to watch tv you like TV? i like uh the soccer play okay soccer to play soccer okay thank you so much mr edgar i continue with elsie janet miss elsie janet good evening my name is elsie janet ramirez um, at work at um all my work is in ats consulting mm -hmm. um, my favorite hobby is dancing Dancing, oh, perfect. Yes. Ah, very nice. Thank you so much. I continue with Fabiola Silva. Hi, my name is Fabiola Jordina Silva. Mm -hmm. I work in Victoria Salvadoreña. My favorite hobby is dancing and listening to music. My favorite food is pizza. Oh, Only nice. Dancing. All right. thank, thank you so much for your participation. Let's see, I continue with, let's see, Jennifer Magali. Is Jennifer? Hey, sorry, I have a problem. Uh, uh, no problem. My, name, my, my name is Magali. Mm -hmm. I, I work in Galpanita. Ah, interesting. I like, huh? the, I like uh, run and go to the gym. Mm -hmm. um, I love sleep. Ah, interesting. You love this. <laughs> hey, that's good. <laughs> that's really nice. Let's see. Thank you so much for your participation, Miss Jennifer. I continue with Jose Alberto. Josue, sorry. Josue Alberto. Oh, yeah. My name is Josue Alberto Salas. I work at Cotecna del Salvador. Mm -hmm. My hobbies are uh, watch series and movies mm -hmm. and play soccer. Okay, please, soccer. Thank you so much, Mr. Josue. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's see, I have Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco Enriquez. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you so much. Good evening. Uh, nice to meet you, everybody. Uh, my name is Juan Francisco Enrique mm -hmm. González. Mm -hmm. I work in Energia Borealis. Okay. Uh, my hobby, my favorite hobby is read manga and uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. anime. <laughs> All right, thank you. That's very nice. Thank you. thank you so much, Mr. Juan Francisco. And then I continue. Let's see, I have Julio Cesar, Julio Cesar Hernandez. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Julio. I work for Cotecna of El Salvador. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite hobbies is uh, to play video games. All right. And um, I'm very happy to be here with you guys. Oh, thank you so much. A hey, good hobby to play video games. I like it. Let's see. Me too. I, yeah, I continue I with my... Ah, sorry. Okay. Thank you. I continue with Mariela de Los Angeles. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is Mariela hmm? Alvarado. All right. I work in Serprofin, Servicios Profesionales de Ingeniería. Okay. I'm Administrative Assistant. Mm -hmm. uh, my hobby is um, what serious anime okay anime series hey thank you so much thank you so much yes. let's see i continue let's see Manila. i have marvin wilfredo hello marvin hello good evening good evening my name is marvin gonzalez mm -hmm. i work in Cotena, El salvador mm -hmm. i like play football and basketball Oh, you like to play football. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Marvin, for your participation. I continue with, let's see, I have Werner Mauricio. Hello, hello, Mr. Uh, Werner. Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, voy entrando, teacher. Okay, perfect. No, no problem. Sorry. 
we're just introducing ourselves. En este momento solo nos estamos presentando. El nombre ya lo vemos en el usuario, pero ah. se lo puede repetir. Y nada más un dato. Where you work? En a hobby. For example, I work at, at English Corporativo and I like to play basketball. What, but what about you? Uh, I work in um, Federation, uh, Federación Salvadoreña de Esgrima. Oh, interesting, right? Mm -hmm. okay. And tell me, tell me a hobby. I, I, I coach national team for Oh, interesting. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Thank you so much. Let's see. I have the next person, Noemi Cordova. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, everybody. My name is Noemi Cordova de Valencia. Mm -hmm. And I'm working, I work in Association Alianza Football Club. All right. My, I am the general, the manager, financial manager. All right. Mm -hmm. What about your hobby? Yeah, a favorite hobby. Do you like to? watch movies, to listen to music, to dance, to cook. I like... Mm -hmm. The movie, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and... All right. Thank you so much. There might be some technical problems and I can come back to you, right? But thank you so much, Miss Noemi. I have also Irene. Hello, Miss Irene. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hi. What, can you tell, what can you tell us about yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay, my name is Irene Cuellar. Uh -huh. now Nowadays, I'm working with Miss Irene Cuellar. All right. Uh -huh. uh, nowadays, I'm working at Fruit of the Loom Company. I work at Human Resources Department. And about my hobbies, I love watch TV. Right. I love watch series, mm -hmm. movies. Uh -huh. That's all. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's see. Is there any other person that is missing to participate? Because I want to incorporate all of you. Uh, um, teacher, uh, my name is, yes. Thank you my so much. My name is Leima Moreno. Uh -huh. uh, I work at Baltimore <laughs> Plant. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a process engineer in department assistant right. and about my hobbies i love to edit photos uh, and make some craft uh, many types of craft uh, like necklaces or bracelets uh for example pencils ah, um, interesting. yes pens or uh, for example uh, some flowers Every right. every type of, of, of flower, roses, mm -hmm. or uh, um, no, I, I don't know how to say girasoles. You say it sunflowers. Sunflower. Uh, sunflowers. Okay. Sunflowers. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank sunflower. you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your participation. I see Mr. Manuel Montoya. Are you missing to participate? My name is Manuel Montoya. Thank you so much. Me, my work is engineering. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. My work plus is construment. All right. Mm -hmm. And what about your hobby? Uh, Do you, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, English. Mm -hmm. uh, you like, all right, no problem, no problem. We're here to learn. 
No se preocupe, recuérdese que aquí todos vamos aprendiendo. Vamos a ver, dígame algo que a usted le guste y yo le ayudo para expresar su idea. Por ejemplo, para expresar un hobby podríamos decir, I like, me gusta. I like to, y lo acompañamos de una acción. I like to listen to music. I like to dance. Right? I like to play soccer. But what about I you? Like, a ver. I like to, I like to uh, run. Run, ok. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Good job, Manuel. Thank you so much. Let's see. Is there any other person missing to share information at this moment? I guess the majority yeah, of this. Oh, okay, go ahead. Sorry, 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 sorry. Tell me. Um, my name is Francisco Javier Piatoro. I'm a software developer and I love to play video games and play soccer. Very nice video games perfect All right thank okay. you so much any other person that is missing i guess everybody participated right okay perfect let's get down into business it is nice to meet you all and thank you for sharing your information as i told you uh, my name is uh, for the people who just incorporated my name is uh gonzalo chavez right and remember you feel free to ask questions if there is any question you can ask me and i am going to answer and i will try to do my best to explain to you right that is the objective of this uh let's go over Let's get into business, right? Let's go over the class at this time. Let's see. For every, this is the general information that is for the course, right? And the general information is, uh, or the general objective is that participants will develop competencies that will allow them to describe, uh, to describe features of products, describe processes about selling or buying online, no customers opinions towards uh, towards products they sell and have <clears throat> conversation with others about financial activities that is the general objective and that is what we're going to cover in this uh, beginner number four course that we are in right that is the general objective for this for this course and every time we're going to have a class objective that is what we are going to learn right at the end of the class this is what we are going to know. For example, today, it's like this. I will, I will be able to describe different features about the products that my or someone else's workplace purchase, right? Do you know the meaning of purchase, people? What is a synonym of purchase? Who can help me? Lugar. Sorry, sorry? Lugares. All right. In this case, purchase. Thank you so much, Fabiola. In this case, purchase, a synonym of purchase is buy, right? That is when you go to the store, you pay, and you obtain a product, right? For example, I want to buy a cell phone, $5. Excellent, $5 is mine, right? That is purchase, to buy something, to obtain something, right? That is the general objective for today. We're going to describe features about different products. All right, let's get started. I will be asking some questions for volunteers. That is the mechanics. I will ask for two or three volunteers to participate on some questions. And later I will ask a specific people to participate. So please try to participate as much as possible, right? I will, I will appreciate your participation. Remember the objective here is that, that you practice and that we all learn. It's not a monologue, only the teacher talking. Talk. No, 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 it's about you, right? So check on the question. Let's, Miss Suleyma, can you read the question in, that is on the screen at this moment? Okay. What products do people in your company buy? Thank you so much, Suleyma. I need two volunteers at this moment to answer the question. Volunteers, please. Volunteers. Hello, hello. Thank you so much. Participate in this one. Thank you, mister. Um, um, chicken. All chicken right. and my company. Ah, oh, interesting. Chicken. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And food for chicken? Uh, the food, the food, food, French chicken. Um, 
the 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 other um oh como se dice este em, embutidos uh embutidos como se diría I will I will look for that one because I know specific words for sausages, pero eso sería como salchichas, digamos, right? Let me check on como that one. Salchichas, right? sí. Mm -hmm. That is what I okay. thought. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I need other okay. participate to answer the question, please. Hello, hello. Uh, In, okay. okay. In um, I see, let's see. I see Francis. Uh, what, what product? Okay. Ah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, what product do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. You can read, read yeah. the question. Help me, please. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. What, what product do people in your company buy? Right. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Francisco, I see that you wanted to participate. So I will give you the chance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. In, in our case, um... People, people, and um, buy in, in our company uh, software services for uh, security, um, internet services, or or stuff. All right, thank you so much. And I will ask one person this one. I see. Let me check. Let me check on my list. Irene Cuellar. What products uh, do people in your company buy? Okay, uh, some persons buy boxers. Huh? Right. Okay, and another boxers, extended leg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, these kind of products, we send them mm -hmm. to different different kind of countries. For example, to United States and another kind of country. All okay. right. It's like exportations, right? Yeah. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much for your participation in this. Let me see. Let's continue on this. Okay. All right. Uh, when we talk about features, we talk about characteristics of objects, right? That is what we emphasize when we mention features about something. Question, let's see, Josu Alberto, what do you see in the representation of the pictures? What elements or what objects do you see? What face, features is, uh, I don't know the words. Features, fee, features. Mm, that but, is the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Features yeah, are pictures. similar characteristics. Mm -hmm. That is the meaning of characteristic, but, but check on the question. Uh, check on the picture, right? There are three elements in the picture. What are they? Oh, mm -hmm. it's uh, telephones, computers, yeah. and calculator. Calculator, thank you so much. Thank you so much, mister. Let's see. Um, I see Mariela, Mariela de Los Angeles. I have a question for you. There is a computer, the telephone, there is a calculator. Uh, what features does it have? Can you tell me one characteristic about the product? Um, it has a characteristic. Uh -huh, characteristic of this one? Office? You can say that about the capacity, you can mention the price. Invent it, you can invent it, no problem. Okay. Intel mm -hmm. E7. Ah, well, interesting. That's an iPhone. Thank you. Um, iPhone. Mm -hmm. um, scientific calculator. Scientific calculator, right? Thank you so much, Miss Mariela. Ma, uh, Maria de los Angeles. Thank you so much. I, I need other person to participate and I will choose, let's see. Chun, chun, chun. Let me check on my list. I will check on Warner. Mr. Warner, what other characteristic can you mention about these products? Uh, sorry, ¿me puede repetir de nuevo? Yeah, 
uh, what are the features of the objects in the picture, right? For example, if we talk about the computer, Mariela mentioned that it's a, a computer, an i7 computer, right? Talking about the processor, right? And she mentioned the brand, uh, so phone is an iPhone, right? What other characteristic can you invent it? You can imagine this one. That is the beauty, the beauty part of English. We can invent, and that is the idea. What other characteristic can you think about these products? The memory is uh, mm -hmm. the memory around uh, twenty six giga gigabytes. Gigabytes, yes. All right. Thank you so much. That is other characteristic. That is other feature. Right. Talking about the capacity. Thank you so much. Let's see, we're going to continue. Remember, we're going to be asking different people and we're going to check on some vocabulary section that this exercise is based on page number nine from your manuals, right? So if you have the manual, you can check on the, on the reference over there, but if not, we have some exercises over here. Let's see, I will explain the mechanics. As you can see, there are, how many numbers are there, Fabiola? How many numbers do you see on the screen? How many? How many mm. numbers? Six numbers in the in the screen? Eight. Five eight. numbers? Eight. Thank you eight. so much, Ms. Fabiola. There are eight numbers on the screen. Every number represents a vocabulary word, right? Cada, pal cada numerito que usted ve en pantalla representa una palabra de vocabulario, right? So I will be asking some people to participate and to choose a number. You are going to see a word without the vowels. And you will have five seconds to try to guess what the word is. Right? O sea, vamos a ver, voy a explicar la mecánica para que quedemos claros cómo vamos a trabajar en esta parte para tener un, un momento interactivo de revisar el vocabulario. Como usted ve, tenemos ocho números en pantalla. Yo voy a escoger ahí a ocho personas de, de la lista que tenemos de participantes y usted va a escoger un número. Right? Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Cuando usted me diga un número, yo le doy clic al número y le va a aparecer en pantalla una palabra a la cual le hacen falta las vocales. ¿Okay? Si usted tiene su manual, puede ver las palabras para tener una idea de cuáles palabras pueden ser. Si no, usted no se preocupe, usted trate de expresar sus ideas. Si no la conoce, trate de expresarlo. Eso es lo bonito. Aquí no es decir, Ay, yo no sé, inventémoslo. Es lo bonito. No estoy pidiendo respuestas correctas, sino que, que participemos y utilicemos el idioma en contexto. Ese es el objetivo. Así que no se preocupe. Aquí la idea es practicar. Entonces, vemos la palabra. Se tiene cinco segundos para tratar de descifrar qué palabra es. Si no, pues regreso a esta pantalla de inicio y escojo a otra persona. Así que todos vamos, vamos a tratar de incluir a la mayoría de personas. Y recuérdense, más adelante tenemos más prácticas todavía. Let's see. I will choose the first person for this practice. Let's see. I will choose Edgar Alfredo Benjiva. On the, the two or on, on three vowels? It depends. No, choose a number. Ahorita solo escoge un número. Yo le muestro la palabra. Oh, Ahí vamos. Okay. Va, va a ser sorteo. Ok. <laughs> number, uh, number four. Number four. All right. Acá le muestro la, la, la imagen. Y ahí tenemos cinco segundos para poder eh, ver cuál palabra pudiera ser. All right. Okay. Check on this one. Mm -hmm. Ideas? Um, the... No, no, no. No, no problem. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I know you have it. Sé que la sabe. No. no, no problem. All right. Don't worry, don't worry. That's, thank you so much. That is the idea, right? To practice on this one. Don't worry. No okay, es tan yeah. mal. La idea es que vamos a practicar todos. Esa es la idea. Uh -huh. I will choose other person. Vamos a seguir la misma mecánica. Podemos escoger el mismo o escogemos otro número. Let's see on this one. I will choose uh, Julio Cesar Hernández. Julio 
Mr. Julio Cesar, tell me a number, please. Hello, hello. All right. I, yeah, I can hear you now. Can you tell me a number, please? Uh, I, I said number seven before, but seven. all right. All right, now I can hear you. Number seven, check on this one. What is a mystery Function. word? Functions, thank you so much. You can see the word in this one is functions, right? Thank you, that is part of the vocabulary. Thank you so much, Mr. Julio. Right. Let's see, I will choose right. other person. Carla Marta, I have other person here. Carla Marta Cano. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, thank you so much. Choose a number, please, to discover your mystery word. Number one. Number one, all right. Let me show it to you. Tell me, what is a mystery word? Ties. <laughs> ties, thank you so much. That's correct. The mystery word is ties. Thank you so much. Let's see. I wish this other person, Miss Noemi Cordova. Can you please choose a number from the screen? Um, five. Number five. Excellent. Let me see number five. What about this one? Battery. Aha, uh -huh, battery. And the second life. One? Battery life. Thank life. you so much. Good job. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you so much. Battery life, that's correct. In this case, you can say battery like the British guys, or you can say battery in the American accent. So there is no problem, right? Tenemos acento un tanto británico, que ellos hacen más énfasis en las T's, o lo podemos hacer como el, el acento americano, que ellos a veces suena como una R, battery, battery life. But that is, that is correct. Thank you so much. Let me choose other person. I see Elsie Janet. Hello, Miss Elsie. Hello. All right. Number, number three. Number three, all right. What about on this one? What is the mystery word? Price. Price, thank you so much. Let's see on this one. That's correct. Price is the word. I go back to the main screen and I will choose other person. Let's see. Chun, chun, chun. Mm, let's see on my list. Uh, Manuel Montoya, Mr. Manuel. Number two. Number two. Let me see. Let me show it to you. Number two, Mr. Manuel, that is for you. Uh, right. Sorry? Right. Uh, no, no, is that one. All right. Thank you so much. I will come back to the main screen and I will choose other person. Don't worry. We're going to discover it later. Don't worry. Let's see. I see other person. I will choose. Let me see. Uh, Mariela. Mariela de Los Angeles. Yes. All right. Tell me a number, please. Um, number mm -hmm. six. Number six, let me show it to you. Right? Mystery Storage. word. Storage. Thank you so much. That's correct. Good job. The vocabulary word is storage. Thank you so much. Let me choose other person. Let's see. I have, let's see, Marvin. Marvin Wilfredo. Hello, Mr. Marvin. Number one. Number one. Let me see. Number one, Mr. Marvin. Oh, number one is already done. Choose a different number, please. Escojamos otro número. Eight. Number eight, right? Thank you. I will show it to you. Number eight. What is the mystery word? Warranty. Warranty, thank you so much. That's correct. The, the mystery word is warranty, thank you so much. All right, let's see. We're going to move to the next section on this one. 
and I will ask more people, right? We're going to be a, to do a matching activity based always on the book. For the people who have not participated, I need one volunteer. Necesito un voluntario de los que no participamos en la primera sección. Necesito a los demás que vamos a tomar voluntarios. And I need one person at this moment. This is the mechanics, right? Vamos a hacer esto. Le voy a mostrar una diapositiva. And you can see the definition, right? Vemos la definición de la palabra. En este caso, tenemos measurements of or proportions of some kind, right? That is the definition. Tenemos la definición, o sea, el concepto, pero no tenemos la palabra. Lo que vamos a hacer es que cuando usted participa, vamos a leer la definición y vamos a tratar de dar qué palabra será. Eso es basado en el libro, right? En este caso, measurements or proportion of some kinds, ese es el equivalente a dimensions. Dimensions or dimensions, the two are okay, right? Ahí vamos a, esa es la mecánica que vamos a utilizar. La persona que le toque participar lee la definición y trata de ver cuál es la palabra. Eso siempre va a estar en el libro y en el ejercicio anterior que hicimos, que estamos descubriendo las palabras misteriosas. All right? So I need one volunteer que no haya participado en la sección anterior. I need one person, please. No, thank you so much. Volunteers. Me, okay. Tell me. Who is me? Let me see. Ahorita me estoy aprendiendo Hi. las voces. Así. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much. I will show you this one. The next one. Read the, the, the concept. Please. Vamos a leer el concepto primero y después nos trata de decir qué definición será. ¿Qué palabra? Right. A, prom, promise a promise to repair or replace something mm -hmm. within a period of time. Uh -huh. I think the battery life. It's battery life. Promise to repair something mm, close to, but not really. In este caso, no sería eso. A promise, right? I promise. I say, yes, I am going to do something, right? Mm -hmm. A promise to repair something. In this case, I will show it to you. Don't worry. In this one, a promise to repair something right. mm -hmm. is warranty, right? For example, when you buy something new, for example, I buy a cell phone. This is the new cell phone, ah, to give you an example. And then if the cell phone doesn't work, I go to the company and I say, hey, my cell phone doesn't work. Give me another one or change, change something or repair. The company is in the obligation to repair that one or to help me sometimes for six months or sometimes for a year, right? But that is a promise right? That you can go to the store and they are going to help you in your situation, right? Sería lo que conocemos como garantía. Es una promesa de reparar algo por un periodo de tiempo, ¿verdad? Y el acuerdo que llega a la persona es, es dependiendo del artículo, seis meses, un año, dos años, eso va a depender de, del, del negocio y del artículo que usted compre, right? But that one is warranty. Thank you so much. I need other person, other volunteer for the next one. Hello, hello, other volunteer? Mm. All right, thank you so much, Juan Francisco. Tell me, read the definition, please, and then tell me the concept. Uh, mature of battery performance and longevity. All right, and uh, what, is the, what is the word? Uh, but battery life. Battery life, that's correct. A measure, right? Check on that one, the pronunciation. A measure of battery performance or longevity, right? That is the one. And as you mentioned, that is the word for battery life. Good job, Juan Francisco. Thank you so much. Let's see. I see Suleima has uh, the hand up, right? So I, I guess you are the next volunteer, Miss Suleima. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, yes. Uh, tell me. Uh, I think overall dimension or magnitude, I think is weight. Weight. Oh, in this one, it is size, right? If you have your books, you can go and match the information. I think overall dimensions or magnitude, in this case, it's size. 
Thank you so much, Miss Suleyma, for your participation. Let's see, the next one, I need other volunteer. Next volunteer, hello, hello, thank you. Who's the next one? Me. All right, help me, tell me, tell me, tell me. The space available for retention of something is storage. Storage, thank you so much. Good job, Miss Mariela. Thank you so much. You. And for the ones, if you have the book, you can do the exercise in this case, right? Si usted lo tiene impreso, pues perfecto. Usted puede ir, 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 hacer, ir haciendo el ejercicio. Mm -hmm. O si no, recuérdese que como la videoconferencia queda grabada y tenemos acceso, pues usted después, si tiene la oportunidad de imprimir, usted puede ir completando la información. Porque recuérdese que lo importante es que tengamos algo de refuerzo. Okay? Thank you so much. Let's see. Uh, is there any other volunteer? Let's see. I see Fabiola. Veo que Fabiola tiene el micrófono encendido. So tell me. <laughs> you participated in this one. Thank you so much. A body, the lightness or the identity contained by some sign. No problem. Check on that one. <laughs> then that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Invented. De las que hemos visto, trate de decirme una. Recuérdese que aquí la idea, aunque uno no lo conozca, que eso no está nada mal, usted exprese una y vamos a descubrir la, la idea principal o, o la palabra como grupo. Ese es el objetivo. Size, yeah, size is already used. Ya me hemos utilizado. Por ahí escuché que alguien nos ayudó y nos dijo la palabra. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Great, uh, Fabi. Right, and everybody like. Fabi. Fabi. Thank you. That's correct. Thank you so much for the help, everyone. Thank you. That's correct. In this case, a body is relative mass or or quant or the quantity contained by something that is called weight. Right, it's the peso, la masa lo que pueda tener cualquier objeto, right? Eso, that is a feature, that is a characteristic, right? For example, if I see, um, I will show you my, my bottle, right? No logos, right? No vamos a hacer publicidad, voy a tapar el logo, right? If I, if I show you my, my bottle, right? I can see what is a feature. It is plastic, talking about the material, right? Or if I show you, for example, a cell phone, and you say, oh, the weight, probably 200 grams, 200 grams, right? That is a characteristic, that is a feature, right? Cuando usted compra algún producto, a veces trae una ficha técnica, trae peso, trae dimensiones, y ahí vemos toda la diferente información de algún producto, right? Thank you so much. Uh, I need other person, if there is any other volunteer. ¿Algún otro voluntario que no haya participado? Hello, hello. Uh, let's see, who is me? Can you tell your name, please? Because I listen, me and I then... Mariela. Ah, Mariela, all right, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Listen, can, I listen to a boy. Escuché a un, a un caballero que también mencionó a mí. No estoy equivocado. Francisco. Francisco, okay, thank you. Mariela, I will give the chance to Francisco. Le vamos a dar la chance a Francisco para yes. que participe, all right? Okay. So much. Mr. Francisco, help me, please. Ah, but read the definition first. Vamos a leer primero el concepto y después damos la idea. Okay. The amount of money required for or paid for something. All right. Quantity. All right. Let's see. Check on this one. Price. In this one is the price. The amount of money, right? Like two dollars, five dollars. That is necessary. The amount of money required or paid 
for something, right? La cantidad de dinero requerida o que se paga por algo, right? That is the price. That is other characteristic. That is other feature for any product, right? Thank you so much, Francisco. Let's see. Uh, is there any other person? Alguien más que no haya participado? Si no, vamos a ir escogiendo. I choose people, right? People from the list. All right. I choose people, right? Mm -hmm. uh, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, practical use or purpose in design. Uh, storage? Storage? Mm, storage or oh. mm -hmm. oh. Features? Features, or characteristics. characteristics. It could be. It's uh, almost similar in this one. But we're going to call this one, we're going to call it function, right? Practical use of purpose. For example, if you have a TV, what is the function? It is a TV, but sometimes it can work as a monitor for a computer, right? Two functions in, the, in one, right? Cell phones, they are cameras, they have calculators, you know, many things that you may need, right? Thank you so much, Mr. Jose. Now, let's see, I will ask some people. Remember, the idea is for you to participate and to practice in this one. Let's see, I will choose Miss. Miss Carla, right? Miss Carla for the first one. The first question to participate. Mm -hmm. How many products does your workplace buy? And which ones are they? I will ask, I will answer. For example, in my company, they buy, to give you an example, 10 products. Which one? We we buy paper because it's necessary for teachers. We buy markers. And also we buy books because we need to give a book for the teacher and books for the students, right? Just to give you an example. But what about you? How many products does your workplace buy? Mm, my company buy a many products. For example, mm -hmm. maybe 265, mm -hmm. for example. Uh, I can mention it. Mm -hmm. um, and vegetables and and bread and, and meat and meat and potatoes and everything is how can I what is the English word for comestible? Edible. You say edible. Edible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you buy potatoes. Uh, do you work like in a restaurant or something like that? Yes, I work uh, in a restaurant. Uh, that's a reason, right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your answer. All right. Okay. Let's see. I need other person. I will choose other person to participate on this one. I have Josue Alberto Salas Benitez. The company buy uh, a lot of products, uh, papers, uh, water, mm -hmm. uh, supplements of cleaning, cleaners, mm -hmm. cleaning mm -hmm. and, implements, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, office supplements. I don't know how has had that. If these words mm -hmm. is correct, that's okay. Yeah, um, replacement or uh, repuestos. Uh, how how can I say repuestos? Puestos, for... usted lo dice spare parts. Yeah, Ese spare, es part for... spare parts in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, All a right. lot of spare parts. All right, thank you so much. I understand. Thank you so much, Miss Noemi. Hello, Miss Noemi Cordova. Uh, the next question is for you, the one in green. Approximately. How many units of a product do you buy? Mention one product that you buy in your company and give me the quantity of products that you buy. For example, in my case, we buy markers, as I mentioned, and we buy approximately 100 markers uh, like every month, just to give you an idea. What about you? Um... Products. Mm -hmm. We are not. We are done. 
¿Cómo decirlo? Nosotros no vendemos nada. We but, don't sell. Uh -huh. but, In this case, uh, uh, tell me. We just, okay, we don't sell. Um, but um, uh, products, uh, the uniforms. Uh, the uniforms, uh -huh. But uniform for the soccer players. Los for the soccer players. Uh -huh. And talking about uh, the quantity, uh, how many? Hablando de los uniformes, ¿cuántos aproximadamente compran? How many? Uh, um, some three for uh -huh. for which one for uh, cada uno? For each for each one. Three, That's correct. Uh -huh. For each one. Okay. For each one. And approximately. 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 Uh -huh. Approximately. Uh -huh. Approximately um, three hundred three hundred uh, in total totality. In total, in total. Mm -hmm. Three hundred in total. total. Mm -hmm. Short in total. All right. In total. Short uh, short. T-shirts and <coughs> sweater, 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 mm -hmm. sweaters and uh, socks, mm -hmm. and shoes, in shoes. All right. Thank you so much. That's Thank you so good. much. All right. That's okay. Thank you so much. Good information. Uh, because of the time, no, we're not finished. We're going to terminal. Pero se me olvidó mencionarles al inicio que la la asistencia se va a tomar tres veces durante la clase. La vamos a tomar al inicio, a las nueve de la noche, que sería la mitad de la clase, y al final. El objetivo también es por si alguien se incorporó durante la jornada, pues todavía que me diga, hey, estoy presente, ¿va? no voy a creer que no vine, tichera. Aquí estoy todavía, ¿no? ¿Right? Para los que se incorporaron y para los que están desde el inicio, que les agradezco su, su puntualidad. Igual, pues, que decir, hey, teacher, todavía aquí estoy, va, aquí estoy todavía. Right. Let's check on this. Voy a leer las personas que tengo en el curso y, y recuerde, activa su micrófono y me puede decir, I'm here, present, uh, as you wish, on this one, right? I have Alejandra María Jovel Araujo. Second call, Alejandra María. ¿Será Alejandra María presente por el momento? All right, let's see. Um, I have Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Mr. Andres, Andres Giovanni. Second call. Ya, ya me siento como en el aeropuerto a segundo llamado. Okay. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. No. All right. Next person, Edgar Alfredo Benjibar Pineda. Present teacher. All right, thank you so much. Uh, Elsie Janet de María Ramírez Navarro. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present teacher. All right, thank you so much. Uh, Fran Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. All right, thank you so much. Uh, Irene Azucena. Hello, hello, Irene Azucena Cuellar. Ahorita, ay, decí que estoy ahí. Ahorita, ya, ya lo puse. Hola. Hello. So much, your present. Thank you so much. Checking on Atena. Estamos chequeando la asistencia. Hello. Como le comentaba, tres veces se va a estar pasando durante el curso. Okay. Objetos, a ver si estamos conectados. Thank you so much. Uh, next person, Jennifer Magali. Present. Right? Present. Thank you so much. Yeah. Miss Jennifer. Oh, Thank you. Oh, Josué Alberto Sala Benítez. I'm here. 
All right, thank you so much. Uh, Juan Francisco Enriquez Gonzalez. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, Julio Cesar Hernandez Asensio. Still here. All right, thank you so much. Carla Marta Cano Rivas. I'm here. Much. I have Carla Noemi Lopez. Second call on this one, Carla Noemi Lopez Hernandez. Not at this moment, right? Uh, Manuel Alejandro Rodriguez Molina. Mr. Manuel, Mr. Rodriguez. Not at this moment, right? Let's see. I have Manuel de Jesus Montoya Hidalgo. Presente. All right. Thank you Present. so much. Thank you so much, mister. Uh, I have Mariela de Los Angeles, Alvarado Diaz. Present. I have the next person, Marvin Wilfredo Gonzalez Trujillo. Present. All right. Thank you so much. The next person, Warner Mauricio Reyes Angel. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Soy la Noemi Córdoba de Valencia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Right, thank you so much. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. I'm still here, teacher. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate your participation on this one. Thank you so much. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Right, let's see. Let's go back to this one. Let's get back to business, right? Uh, I need only three volunteers to participate on this one. Check on the question in red. How much money do you think your company spends in product? We give an approximate, right? Not the exact number. Vamos a dar un aproximado. Como les digo, recuerden que aquí la idea es participar, aunque no sean números exactos, ¿verdad? Y que no nos vayas a comprometer, como decir, teacher, esa es información confidencial, no se la puedo compartir, nada, invéntese un número, ¿verdad? Right? La idea es que com compartamos y podamos practicar el idioma, ¿verdad? Right? So I need, I need only three volunteers on this one. Um, me, teacher. All right, tell me, how much money do you think your company spends on products? Oh, uh... The one, uh, the jacket electric, uh, 100 All right. dollars. Yeah. 100 dollars, all right. Mm -hmm. For one is. That is for one person, for every yes. person. Yes. All right. And how many people do you attend in your, in your work? ¿Cuántas personas uh, que ustedes atienden para un aproximado? Approximate. Attend uh, proxi uh, aproximate. Approximately, 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 mm -hmm. um, 20 persons. Person. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, the selection nationality. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I need a second volunteer to participate on this one. How much do you think your company spends on products? ¿Cuánto cree que su compañía gasta en los implementos o productos que compran para su funcionamiento? O, o, o implementos, tal vez, que utilizan de oficina o algún otro rubro. Second volunteer. Second volunteer. Thank you. Second volunteer. Thank you so much. Thank you, volunteer. Ok, go ahead. Thank you. Tell me. Uh, I think... Um, when, I think my company is spent by... Every month. 500 every month. Five hundred. All right, every month. Thank you so much. And I will choose the third person, Mr. Marvin, Marvin Wilfredo. How much money think your company spends? In my company, I have a, a little box. No sé si así se dice. Uh, a signal uh, by $500. $500 every month. Yeah. All right. That's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your participation. All right. Thank you. Let's see. Let's continue on this. 
for this class, remember we're talking, we're going to talk about features, but there is a grammar content, right? There is an explanation for what we are talking about. And the emphasis for today, that is on page number 10 on your manuals, if you have it, that is the countable and uncountable nouns. That is the objective. And I will ask Ms. Suleyma Ibon, can you read that definition that, I, that we have on the screen, the one that, in green, countable nouns? Uh, countable nouns are individual people, animal, places, things that you can be, you can be counted. All right, thank you so much. In general, countable things are, as it says, people, animal, places that can be counted. You can include a number for quantity, right? For example, if you talk about pens, right? It's one pen, two pens, three pens, four, five. You talk about quantity, right? If you talk about animals, you say uh, one dog, two dogs, three dogs. You talk about quantity. Those are countable nouns. And let's see, there is other definition that we have in light blue. And I will ask, uh, let's see, I will ask Ms. Suleyma Ibon to read the, the next definition. Ms. Suleyma? Yes. Uh, uncountable nouns are things we cannot count. Things we cannot count. Different from the first definition, these are things that we cannot count. We cannot say one, two of this uh, element that we are referring to. For example, if we talk about feelings, for example, happiness, felicidad, you cannot talk about like one happiness, two happiness, three happiness, right? It is not possible. Also, when we talk about uncountable nouns, when the element is so small and difficult to count, we go for an uncountable noun. For example, if we talk about rice, si hablamos de arroz, is uncountable, right? Imagine counting rice, one, two, three, right? Are you hungry? Tiene hambre, si. How, how, how do you want rice? Yeah, 10 rices, the arroces. No, it's not possible, right? The units are so small, it's not possible to count them, right? Si es posible, en teoría, verdad, si uno se toma el tiempo, pero entre en la categoría de no contables, right? For example, we talk about sugar, sugar, we talk about beans, frijoles, those like grains, si hablamos de granos en generales, they are uncountable. Also, when we talk about liquids, liquids are not are uncountable, right? For example, I mentioned, escuché por ahí un ejemplo. Who can help me? Sand. Sand, that is other, excelente. Arena, sand, is not possible to count. If I listen to water, escuché agua por ahí, it's not possible to count, right? When we talk about, for example, soda, milk, water. coffee, water, thank you so much, it's not possible to count, right? Liquids in general are uncountable nouns, right? In general, líquidos son no contables. You can count, let me see, you can count the bottle that is different, right? You can count the container. Hay ciertas excepciones. Por ejemplo, usted puede contar el contenedor. Ahí sí, ahí sí lo podemos cuantificar, decir una botella de agua, a bottle of water, two bottles of water. Right? But in general, water, uncountable, right? Ese entra en los no contables. Uh, other example of this one is money, right? El concepto dinero, right? Is uncountable, right? Eso lo vamos a comprender como no contable. ¿Usted puede contar los dólares? Yes, that's different. One dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, that is possible. But the concept money, is uncountable, right? Tal vez nosotros en nuestro idioma decimos, o oh, yo he escuchado que gente dice, ay, tengo como uno, un dinerito por ahí, va, o, o unos cuantos dineritos ahí, haciendo quizás referencia a cantidades, pero en este caso, is uncountable, right? There are some differences from English to Spanish, probably. Tal vez podemos encontrar algunas diferencias que en español pudiera, pudiera ser contable, pero en inglés is uncountable, right? Let's see on this one. I have some illustrations of this. Let's see. Uh, and I will ask some people. Mr. Mr. Manuel Montoya. Hello, Mr. Manuel. 
Manuel, Manuel, hello, hello. Hello. All right. Now, what do you see in the picture? What is the illustration? ¿Qué logra ver ahí en la imagen? ¿Qué objeto, qué animal, o qué será lo que tenemos ahí? What is it? Apple. It's an apple. Thank you so much. And tell the classification. Is it countable or uncountable? ¿Será contable o no contable? What's your opinion on this one? Countable. Countable. Thank you so much. That's correct. One apple, two apples, three apples. No problem. Quantity in this one is possible. Thank you so much. I have two other person. Let's see. Edgar Alfredo. Hello, Mr. Edgar Alfredo. Mr. Edgar. Hello, hello, Mr. Edgar Alfredo. All right, I will choose the other person. No problem. Regreso con usted. Jennifer Magali Morales. Uh, in, in this one, it's uncountable, right? Uh, what do you see in the picture? ¿Qué cree que representará esa imagen? Happening. Happiness, it's possible. Or in this case, sometimes, you know, love, it's possible, mm -hmm. right? Está expresando tal vez o representando un sentimiento. Love or happiness is uncountable. Eso no los podemos contar, right? Thank you so much, Miss Jennifer. Good job. I have the next person, I have the next illustration. And for this one, I will choose, let's see. Um, let me check on my list. I will choose Suleima, Miss Suleima. Uh, but, well, it depends. Uh -huh, yeah. It depends uh, because I think that is a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee, uh-huh. And a cup of coffee you can count. But coffee, no. Hmm? Uh, and if you you if, if you are come the cup, mm -hmm. it's countable. Yeah. And right. if counting coffee, it's uncountable. That's correct. Thank you so much for your participation. That is the point, right? If we talk about the container, countable cup. Two cups, <laughs> cups. Talking about the content, the inside, right? El contenido, lo que está dentro uncountable, not possible on that one. And the last one for this part, Miss Mariela de Los Angeles. Hello. What about on this one? Hello. What is what is the object? Uh, it's a cell phone. It's a cell phone, right? What do you think? Countable or uncountable? It's countable. Countable, that's correct. Thank you so much. Thank you so much on this one. Let's see. Let's continue on this one. Is there any question, by the way? Questions, questions at this moment? Preguntas, preguntas. Si tiene preguntas, recuérdese que puede interrumpirme porque tal vez eh, vamos, voy explicando, tal vez los compañeros están participando, pero si no, no le quedó clara la idea, recuerde que puede interrumpirme. Siente esa libertad de interrumpir y decir, hey, teacher, puede explicarme nuevamente o quiero reforzar algo. No problem, right? If we, and I am going to help you. That is my job at this moment, right? Si usted necesita asistencia o tiene dudas, pues, yo, mi, mi, mi labor es ayudar, ¿sí? asegurarme que usted comprenda el contenido. Questions, questions? Yes, I have a question. Ah, go ahead, mister. Um, I think I, I think I'm getting lost here with the, uh, with the menu. I don't mm -hmm. know in, in which page we are. In this one is page number 10. As you can see on the bottom. Yeah. Como ve abajo, ahí, ahí dice página 10, es la referencia del manual. Uh, yeah, because I, I, I see things that you have on the, uh, on, the, on your screen that I don't have here on my page. Uh, I, will, I will show you. Let's see. I will, I, I will, yeah, I will switch on this one. Let me see. Let's see. This is the one. I will switch. Uh, do you see my manual at this moment? Yes, I see it okay. now. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me see. Uh, let me show you the page. In this one, we're working on page number 10. 
right? And in this one, that is, uh, we're talking about countable, how to use countables and uncountable nouns, right? That is the well, general well, idea. I, mm -hmm. Right, I, I got the part, but I, I, I just didn't see the page. <laughs> ah, no problem, no problem, no problem, right? As, as I mentioned- I got it, I got it. Perfect, perfect, all right? I will make a parenthesis on this one, right? Vamos a hacer, voy a hacer el anuncio, el paréntesis. Gracias por su punto, es muy importante, right? La idea es que en la diapositiva a veces yo le voy a incluir un poco más de ejercicios para reforzar. Como podemos ver acá en el manual, tenemos el uso de los contables y no contables, pero yo me tomé el, ahí el caso de explicar y para que tuviéramos claro cuáles son los contables y cuáles son los no contables. Ya luego continuamos con la información de las preguntas de how much and how many, right? That is the idea to check on that one, right? That's pretty important. That's why... I try to include the information at the bottom on the, on the screen, right? Por tal razón, es que trato, al menos en esta vez, he tratado de incluir abajo, dice página 10, para que usted tenga una referencia, porque de repente me dice, ¿y qué me está explicando? Y el manual tal vez lo explica, o a que hay ejercicios extra, y dice, Ey, pero esto, literalmente, eso que ve en pantalla no lo tengo en el manual. No se preocupe, es algo extra. Recuérdese que la idea es que reforcemos el contenido. Pero es muy válido su punto. Thank you so much, Mr. Julio. All right. If there are no more questions, we continue. Now that we have clear countable and uncountable nouns, there are some questions. How much and how many, right? Tenemos preguntas. Ya que tenemos claro cuáles son los contables y los nombres no contables, there are some questions that we use. Estas preguntas las utilizamos dependiendo el nombre o a lo que nos referimos, si es contable o es no contable. How much and how many, right? For example, if we talk about how many, si mi pregunta inicia con how many, Are, am I talking about countable or uncountable nouns? ¿De qué creen que estaré hablando si utilizamos how many? Countable or uncountable? Countable. 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 Thank you so much. Countable nouns. That's correct. And if we talk about how much? Uncountable. Uncountable, right? That uncountable. is the opposite. Thank you so much, right? In this one, check on this. I need, let's see. I need some people to participate, right? We have some model questions. Tenemos unas preguntas modelos acá con how much, right? Let's see, Mr. Miss Elsie, can you read the first question? Vamos a ir leyendo los que tienen ahí viñetitas, el primero, solo la primera pregunta que tenemos. Can you read it, please? How much money does it no veo? Does it does it cost? Okay, how much money does it cost? All right, thank you so much. Josue, the next question. How much is it? How much is it? Thank you. These two questions are variations to talk about what? Talk about price for an object, right? Yeah. Puede variar con cualquiera de las dos. Next person, Francisco, the next question. How much storage does it have? Thank you so much. Storage. Uncountable, you say how much, right? Not how many, right? Ahí hacemos una conexión con el vocabulario que vimos al inicio con la, el punto gramatical, right? Countable, uncountable nouns. How much storage does it have? Right? Well, tal vez cuánto almacenamiento tiene. Hablando de, de algo que estamos eh, tal vez comprando, que estamos mencionando. Edgar Alfredo, the next one, the next question. Uh, how much, teacher? Ajá, uh -huh, the next one. Uh -huh. la, la que tenemos ahí sería la the fourth question, la cuarta. The fourth question. Okay. How much battery life does it have? Does it have? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your participation. And I see Fabiola, the next one, the next question. How much? What is the pronunciation? Warranty. Warranty. Mm -hmm. Warranty. How much does it have? How much warranty does it have? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your participation. Those are just model questions, right? That is extra, extra practice for us. Tenemos una práctica un poco extra y tenemos información que nos va a ser útil cuando entremos a más práctica. Let's see. And I have some model questions for how many. And let's see. Uh, Juan Francisco, can you read the first one for how many, please? How many picture, uh, picture do, does it have? 
Ah, thank you so much. How many features does it have? Thank you so much. I have the next one. Miss Noemi, the next question. How many inch, um, inches? Mm -hmm. Inches, centimeters is it? Is it, right? How many, right? How many centimeters talking about the size? And the next one, I have Miss Werner, the next question. How many cameras does it have? How many cameras does it have, right? These are just model questions that we can use using uh, countable and countable nouns and the use of how much and how many, right? Questions at this moment? Preguntas al momento? No questions. All right, thank you so much. Teacher, teacher. Yeah, yeah, tell sorry, me, tell me. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, um, the, the structure base, uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, ¿cuál es la, la estructura base de la, de, la, de la pregunta? De la pregunta, all right. Uh, it can change depending on what you ask. En este caso, podría cambiar dependiendo el Lo que, a lo que usted se refiere, en este caso cuando hablamos de how much and how many lo utilizamos contables y no contables uh -huh. generalmente como en el contexto tal vez y como estamos hablando de productos que compramos, pues, tal vez en el contexto de, del presente va. estamos describiendo tal vez algo que usted está viendo presencialmente utilizamos el, el, el como se llama el presente simple, por eso que en algunas, en algunas preguntas se ha utilizado el das dependiendo del verbo, por lo menos si ve la primera de how much how much money does it cost, right? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Que estamos, el ver, estamos utilizando el verbo cost, right? Entonces ahí utilizamos el auxiliar, does. En el otro es una variante, how much is it? Como nosotros lo entendemos, ¿y cuánto es? Hablando de dinero, how much is it? Pero la, en este caso utilizamos el presente simple. Puede, podemos utilizar el does, si estamos utilizando un verbo, pues si ve la siguiente, how much storage does it have, right? ¿Cuánto almacenaje tiene? Hablando de algo, de algo que es tal vez de un teléfono, una laptop o, o una tablet, right? podríamos utilizar. Pero ahí utilizamos el presente simple. Va a variar entre eh, si utilizamos das, si utilizamos un verbo, o a veces en algunos casos como el how much is it, que sería una variante, no utilizamos el verbo das, pero estamos utilizando el verbo to be. Okay. Eh, Okay, ¿Alguna otra you. duda? ¿Alguna Thank otra you, duda? Uh -huh. Ahí nos hacemos referencia al, a, al presente simple, tercera persona singular. Por eso estamos utilizando el it, porque hablamos de un objeto. Right? Si habláramos de dos objetos, entonces ya no utilizáramos el, 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 el das. Right? Entonces, nada más para que lo tengamos en consideración. Right? Thank you so much. Any other question? Questions, questions? Right, let's continue. That is a practice. How much or how many? That is on, on page number 10, right? Si tiene su manual, este es el ejercicio basado en la página 10. In this exercise, we're going to complete, orally complete uh, with how much or how many. Va a ver que tenemos una pregunta. And we're going to do the first one as a group. Vamos a hacer la primera como grupo. Vemos ahí que tenemos la información de la pregunta, pero nos hace falta el how much o nos hace falta el how many. Tenemos que hacer referencia al objeto que nos que, es, que hacemos mención en la pregunta y de ahí nosotros tenemos que determinar si es how much or how many, right? For example, the first one, hagámosla como grupo, volunteers. How much or how many? How much, how much? How many? How many? How many? ¿Qué how dice many, el público? Many. No, <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> how many? How much? How many? I listen, how I many. listen to, to two variations. Uno variantes. How much or how many? Right? How, how many? many? How many? All right. Thank you so much. Things to how consider. Many. Thank you so much. Cosas que tenemos que considerar. Vemos la pregunta y si ve después del espacio hablamos pieces, piezas. Y está en plural. Si algo está en plural, quiere decir que es contable, ¿verdad? Los no contables es otra característica, es que los nombres no tienen plurales. ¿sabes? Se mantiene, no decimos aguas, no decimos waters, not possible. Milks, leches, uh -uh, not possible. ¿sabes? Esos no tienen plural. 
Entonces, si vemos acá la palabra pieces, ah, usted tiene que How pensar, much? pieces, hey, si este es plural, ¿verdad? Usted pieces. ya piensa eso. Entonces, es contable. Y ahí hacemos una conexión. ¿Cuál era la, 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 la WH question? Para cosas contables. Ah, y usted dice, how many, ¿verdad? How many pieces. Y ahí acá hay para determinar qué es lo que usted necesita. How many pieces do I need to assemble this? ¿Ay? ¿Cuántas piezas necesito para ensamblar esto? Right? Ahí si tiene su manual, puede ir completando. Si no le <coughs> recuerdo que usted, si usted tiene acceso al, al manual luego, pues usted lo puede ir haciendo y puede revisar la información que tenemos acá. Right? I will ask people, right? I will ask you something. We're going to turn on the microphone. Vamos a hacer, vamos a encender micrófonos en este momento, vamos a hacer una excepción. Yeah, and I'm going to listen. Ahí quiero que expresen how much or how many, y vamos a hacerlo todos como grupo, right? Ahí vamos a detectar si no se nos ha dormido alguien todavía, right? Pero que no. <laughs> Right. And remember, the camera's on, right? Cámaras encendidas. Thank you so much. Veo que todos tienen sus cámaras encendidas, que si no, de repente lo voy a ver. How many, teacher? Right? Let's continue. Let's continue this. Then, ooh, 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 ooh. Next one. What do you think? How much or how many? How, how many? Much. How many? Much. How much? 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 A many. A many. How much? Do you think? How much? How much? How much? But this book cost. The cost? The cost? We are talking about books. cost. Yes, no, cost. No, no, books, book. and, books and plural. In, in this case, thank you so much. Interesting point. Um, you talk about cost. books and you say ah, plurals, right? Tienen un punto yeah. muy cierto de lo que mencionaron. Estamos hablando de libros, porque vemos plural, books, right? Eso mm -hmm. es muy cierto, eso es verdad. Pero si vemos la estructura de la pregunta, estamos utilizando el verbo cost, right? Ah, so, hablamos costo. de precio, ¿verdad? Es. Ajá. Y si recordamos, digamos que cuando hablamos eh, del concepto dinero, en este caso, no utilizamos, el, no es, es contable, exacto, es Uncountable. For that reason, right? How much? How much? How much? Excellent. Thank you so much. To ask for the price. Para preguntar por el precio, how much? How much? Thank you so much. The next one. Let me see. What do you say? How many? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? How many? Mm, how much? How many? How much? How much? How much? In this case, we how are much? going to use how much for how much? body life. For body life. Yeah. Okay. That is the, the, the mm. principal idea in the question, right? Estamos hablando de la de la, de la de la vida de la exactly. vida útil de la batería. Exactly, exactly. And as we checked before, body life is uncountable, right? La vida útil o la, vida, o la batería, la duración de la batería, en sure. este caso es no contable. Tell me. Can you explain more, more about uh, cost, price, uh, relationship between uh, how much? Uh, with how much? Uh, yeah. In this case, because when we talk about uh, the cost, right, the general idea is to talk about the money, right? And money is uncountable. Right, the concept of money. That's why, in this but, case, we use how much. In this case, for money. In this case, with cost. Tell me. Okay, okay but uh, this is a price. Uh -huh. What about uh, the quantity or the, or, or amount? Ah, uh, in in that in that is that is other variation, right? You can ask you can ask other. Uh, what is the amount of money, right? Or how many dollars? It's not common, but how many dollars do I need? How many bills? Quanto billete necesito? Referring to the same idea of cost, of money for the price. But the main idea is that price, when we talk about cost or how much is it, the idea in general is price. And price is uncountable. That is the only reason that's why we say how much, right? Probably in Spanish it doesn't make sense or it, there, is, it, there is a mismatch. Tal vez no, no encaja con la idea que nosotros pudiéramos tener de nuestro idioma origen, 
pero aquí la idea radica que estamos, eh, las dos preguntas, la idea principal radica en dinero, ¿right? ¿Cuánto es el costo o cuánto cuesta? ¿Right? Entonces, todo hace alusión a dinero. Y entonces, dinero es no contable. Por esa razón utilizamos el how much. ¿Right? Es el, esa es la razón por la cual nosotros utilizamos how much. Y de ahí tenemos diferentes variantes. ¿Right? Uh, what is the amount of money? ¿Cuál es la cantidad de dinero? Esa es muy diferente, es otra variante. Siempre me van a responder con un precio. $200, por darle una idea. $200 dólares. Pero... Eh, todo, re, todo está girando alrededor del concepto money. Y como money is uncountable, how much? Eso sería la idea. Similar a este. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Similar a este, battery life. O sea, hablamos de la vida útil o, o duración de la batería. Es no contable. For that reason, you go for how much. How much is the battery life of this computer? Right? Thank you so much. I hope I answered. Espero haberle explicado, haber respondido su interrogante. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Right. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let's see. The next one. What do you say? How much or how many? <clears throat> how many? How many? How, how many? many? How much? How, how much? Many? Hmm. How many? Hours. <clears throat> hours. Double. Four hours. Exactly. Okay. You can count hours. Many. That's correct. Right? If you talk about time, aquí tenemos otro, otro pequeño dilema, llamémoslo así. Si hablamos del concepto tiempo, tiempo es no contable. How much time? ¿Cuánto tiempo? How much time do I charge? Variando la pregunta aquí, dándole un giro. ¿Cuánto tiempo lo cargo? How much do I charge it? Uh, charge it two hours. Cárgalo dos horas. Pero acá la pregunta la han formulado de cierta forma que dice hours. Ese es como que el énfasis, ¿verdad? Y como hours, si las podemos contar que son las horas, por eso utilizamos how many. How many hours do I charge it, right? ¿Cuántas horas lo cargo? How many hours do I, char I charge it? Thank you so much. And let's see the next one. What do you say? How much or how many? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? All right. How, how much? much money? Thank you so much. The same because we talk about how much money do you have, right? Thank you. And the last one. What do you say? How much or how many? How many? How many? How many? How many? But you are talking about water. Pero estamos hablando de agua. Gallons. Gallons. It's a container. Gallons of water. What about gallons? Gallons of water. Thank you so much. We are talking about water. That's correct. Se menciona agua. Pero estamos enfatizando los galones. Y como les comentaba, esa es una forma en que sí podemos contabilizar algo que no es contable, right? Gallons of water. How many gallons? I need two gallons, three gallons of water, right? Thank you so much. Good job. Now, we're going to have, uh, we're missing two more practices and we're done for today. Check on this one. I have a representation that is a health fund and I have some information, right? I have $50, five hour battery, and I have 19.75 grams. They refer to different features or characteristics, right? If, we talk, if I tell you $50, what feature is that one? Is that dimensions? ¿Será que hay referencia a dimensiones? Price. Thank you so much. You talk about price. If you see the other idea, five-hour battery, what feature am I talking about? Battery life. Battery life. So much. And if I mention 19.75 grams, what feature okay. am, am I talking about? Weight. 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 Thank you so much. You talk about weight. Thank you so much. Now, I am going to choose some volunteers because this is the exercise we're going to make. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio un tanto rápido. <clears throat> right? We have three different categories. Eh, tenemos precio, tenemos duración de batería y tenemos el peso, right? What question can we form with the first one? Si yo quisiera averiguar, digamos que esa es la ficha técnica. Usted imagínese que va a la tienda y ve el artículo que son unos health funds, ve el precio, todo eso. Si yo quisiera preguntar por el precio, what question can I form? ¿Qué pregunta podría formular para averiguar por el precio? 
How much does it cost? Other variation? How much is it? How much is it? Thank you so much. Oh. What is the cost? Like, what is the cost? How much is it? Thank you so much. If I want to ask information for the battery life, what question can I form? How, How much How... is the battery life? How much is the battery life? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ahí recuerden las que vimos al inicio, ¿verdad? Aquí estamos testeando, nos recordamos. How much is the battery life? That is an acceptable question for that feature. And if I talk about the last one, what is a possible question I can How formulate? And for the grams? And for the weight? How much does it weigh? How much, right? How much does it weigh? Thank you so much. That is a correct, a correct question, right? Peso, en general, el concepto es no contable. No podemos decir dos pesos, tres pesos. In no. that case, in that case, contabilizamos los gramos. That is acceptable. Mm -hmm. But in this case, how much does it weigh? Ah, uh, the weight is 1975, right? Thank you so much. That is what we're going to do. Similar a esto, vamos a hacer otra práctica. Check on this. Check on this one. I have, I have the next item, right? I will choose one person to formulate a question for the first feature that you have. An other person from the group will answer, right? That is the mechanics of this one. Voy a escoger. Veamos ahí en pantalla, tenemos el objeto y tenemos diferentes características, right? Relacionémonos con el vocabulario que hemos estudiado. Y similar a lo que hicimos anterior, voy a escoger a una persona. Esa persona va a formular la pregunta solo para el primer criterio que tenemos ahí o característica. ¿okay? Y esa persona va a escoger a alguien más para que responda. Así que una persona pregunta, la otra persona responde. Right? Eso es lo que vamos a ir haciendo. De ahí pasamos a la siguiente característica. 120 gigabytes. Ah, ¿Qué podríamos preguntar con eso? Y si, no, si no, no se recuerda, no se preocupe que aquí soy yo para asistirle y podemos trabajar todos acá para ir aprendiendo. Right? That is the objective for this part. Let's see. I will choose a person on this one. I will choose one boy, one lady. One boy, one lady. Vamos a ir trabajando de esa forma. I will choose for, to ask the question, para formular la pregunta. I will ask, let's see, um, I will ask Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco and Fabiola is going to answer. Two people will, will prepare. Dos personas se me van a preparar. Juan Francisco, piense cómo preguntar acerca de la primera característica. Y Miss Fabiola. Le va a responder. So, please, Mr. Manuel. Okay. Um, how much does it cost? How much does it cost? Thank you so much. Miss Fabiola, what is the answer? Mm -hmm. you, say? you can say the cost uh, is the cost is, the cost is no. three three hundred three hundred ninety nine perfect right <laughs> is 399 thank you so much thank you so much the next uh the next the next uh feature la siguiente característica i will select let's see uh, werner to ask the <clears throat> question and i will and i will ask noemi to answer right werner formula la pregunta y noemi va a responder um noemi how many how many gigabytes the memory phone mm -hmm. has. Uh, you see has uh, how much yeah. memory right or how no how many gigabytes, how many, gigabytes. how many gen does it have the memory phones I don't know. Mm -hmm. in this case how many gigabytes 
does, usted lo podemos formular así, how many gigabytes does the cell phone have? Right? Can you oh, say okay. it one more time? How many gigabytes does the cell phone have? How many gigabytes does cell phone have? <clears throat> Thank you so much. Right? And Noemi, what is the answer? The cell phone has 120 gigabytes. Um, 20, 20, 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's Noemi. Good job on that one. Right? Thank you. Sure, I, will I have a yeah. question. Tell me. Go ahead. Uh, in this case, um. Se podría formular la pregunta como and how much is the storage of the of the cell phone? It's valid. Yeah, it's valid. Recuérdese que el, con el idioma puede. Sorry, that is not that is not my dog. Right? Okay. I'm sorry. That, that is my neighbor's dog. Es el perro de mi vecino. Lo siento. Vaya a disculpar. Yeah, in this case, uh, it is possible. Recuérdese que con el idioma se puede jugar. Entonces, usted puede preguntar lo mismo de una forma o de otra. Puede variar, right? But your, your, your version is valid, right? Es una pregunta válida y es otra forma de preguntar. Lo mismo con el precio. How much does it cost? How much is it? Dos formas y obtenemos el mismo resultado, right? Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Next person. I will choose, let's see. Tan, 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 tan. José Alberto. And I will ask uh, Mariela. Yeah. You, you will answer, right? Josue, you form the question, and Mariela, you answer. Okay. How many inches the screen is? Uh, the cell phone has a seven inch screen. Yeah, all right, thank you so much. Thank you so much, it's valid. And I will choose the next person. Let's see other boy. This is for... I will choose Manuel, Mr. Manuel. And the person who is going to answer that is Carla. Mr. Manuel, the question for the last for the last part. Mr. Manuel, are you there, Mr. Manuel? All right, I will switch person. Vamos a escoger otra persona, no se preocupe. Let's see other boy. I will choose Francisco Javier. Um, how much um, year of guarantee have this subject? How much years or how many years? How many? Uh -huh. How many years? Uh -huh. How many years of guarantee have this subject? Mm. Is a uh, one year warranty. Is one year guarantee, right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's correct. Let's continue with the practice. I have other objects that we're going to describe, talking about the features. Let's see, I have other illustration, and I have different criteria or different <clears throat> features on this. Let's see, I will choose other person. Let's see, I, I will choose Suleyma. Suleyma, you create a question, and who is missing to participate in this one? Miss Elsie. Creo que Miss, Miss Elsie no me ha participado ahorita. Right? Queremos escuchar su voz. Okay. Huh? Uh, how much uh, does it cost? How much does it cost? Thank you so much. And the answer? It cost it's 80, 90, um, no, 80, 80, and 20, right? You mentioned it costs 879. 
Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I will choose other person on this one. Let's see who's missing. ¿Qué me hace falta de participar? No los quiero, no los quiero dejar fuera. Y a veces en la lista se me pierde alguien. ¿Qué, qué me hace falta? No quiero que Magali. se sienta ahí. Magali, thank you so yep. much, Miss Magali. Ah, Magali en Marvin. Machu. Magali, create a question in Marvin mm -hmm. with how many applications this does uh, have this ha, 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 uh, this uh, the TV TV uh -huh. and Mr. Marvin okay this TV have has uh, has 20 applications 20 applications that's correct that's correct check on that one Vamos a hacer un, un recap. Recordemos que en, el, en las preguntas, cuando las formulamos en el presente simple, generalmente utilizamos auxiliares, right? Si hablamos acá de how many applications, recuérdense, how many applications uh, does the TV have, right? Lo acompañamos de su auxiliar, indica, su auxiliar y hablamos del, del objeto y después utilizamos el verbo. Thank you so much, but that's correct. Who else is missing? ¿Quién más me hace falta de participar? No quiero dejar a nadie fuera y que no se me vaya a sentir. El teacher ni me preguntó. No, come on. Need to include everyone. Ah, Manuel, Manuel, Manuel. Hello, Mr. Manuel. Hello. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Manuel. And let's see who is going to answer on this one. Oh. Uh, create a question. Create a question. Oh. In this one, mm -hmm. how, many? how many size your uh, TV? How many size? Mm, probably we can formulate the question in a different way. Tal vez pudiéramos reforzar o expresar la pregunta de una diferente forma. Let's give it another try. Tratemos de formularla de otra forma. Talking about inches. Estamos hablando de pulgadas. Las pulgadas son contables. ¿Mm? Necesitamos how much or how many, Mr. Manuel? How many. How many, perfect. How many, many, how many inches? Size. In this case, size. Mm -hmm. Your TV. All right. Thank you so much. I will help you. Le voy a ayudar en esto. Como estamos hablando de, de, pul de pulgadas, right? Vamos a utilizar how many inches, pulgadas. El concepto en general, la persona está hablando de dimensiones, ¿verdad? Tamaño. Pero en este caso vamos a preguntar, how many inches does the TV have? Esa sería la pregunta. ¿Cuántas pulgadas tiene el televisor? Right? Se lo voy a repetir una vez más y de ahí necesito que usted me la, la repita para que practiquemos. How many inches does the TV have? Mr. Manuel? How many inches uh, does, does your TV? Uh -huh. Does your TV have? Utilizamos el verbo have al final. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. How many inches does your TV have? Have. Perfect. Have. Excellent. Thank you so much. And that is the correct question. Thank you so much. I will choose Mr. Francisco Javier to answer that one. <clears throat> Sir Francisco Javier. How much, size, how much size is the computer monitor? No, in, the, in that case, you are going to answer the question. Mr. Manuel created the question. How many inches does the TV have? Right? The answer is? Okay. Uh, the TV, the TV has? has 65 inches screen. Screen. Thank you so much. And the last one, Miss Suleyma. Can you help me? And Miss Mariela will answer, right? Vamos a considerar que, que el televisor es el televisor y es un, un monitor de computadora. Que, ¿Cómo podríamos preguntar esas dos cosas? Um, and maybe, uh, how many features uh, does the TV have? 
Excellent. How many features? ¿Cuáles características? Right? How many features does the TV have? And Mariela, what is the answer for that? The TV have uh, two features, TV and computer monitor. Thank you so much. That's correct. All right. Thank you so much. And we're going to do the last practice for today's class. Your turn. All right. This is a more free activity. Esta es una actividad más libre. Everybody will select one item. Vamos a escoger un artículo que tenga cerca. Y vamos a tratar de decir por lo menos dos o tres características. En este caso, yo tengo mi teléfono cerca acá. Entonces, yo voy a hablar de un artículo. La idea. Ya practicamos las preguntas. Ya vimos las características y cómo expresarlo. Ahora lo vamos a poner más en contexto, que sea de una forma más espontánea. Así que escoja algo que tenga cerca y vamos a, vamos a practicar. Voy a iniciar yo con el teléfono. Voy a decir dos o tres características, right? Uh, the way for the cell phone. Y si no se lo sabe, invénteselo, ¿ok? Si usted me dice, es teacher, ni sé cuánto tiene. Invénteselo. Recuerda, aquí no estamos para ver si es cierto. Aquí la idea es practicar, right? In this one, the cell phone. The cell phone weight is like 200 grams. It has... Um, 128 gigabytes of storage and it has camera. Finish my description, right? Rapidito. Un, algo que usted tenga disponible ahí y si no, invéntese el, el objeto, right? Si lo tiene ahí a la mano, podemos mostrarlo. Perfect, right? I will choose Julio Cesar. What is your object in the short description of your object? Right here. Yeah, go ahead. Bottle of water. Mm -hmm. Uh, it contains liquid and mm -hmm. it has uh, 750 milliliters. Milliliters. Ah, thank you so much. Good All job. Right. I go for All the right. next person, Mr. Manuel. Yeah. Book. Ah, the book. Okay. Wait. Tell me that description. Mm -hmm. Wake eh, one pounds, una libra. One pound, uh -huh. one pound. Mm -hmm. eh, my, my and book. the cost, uh -huh. yeah. and the cost, and the price. Eh, cost eh, one dollar. One dollar. Oh, interesting. It's, it's very affordable. Tan accessible el precio. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Thank you so much, Mr. Arnel. I go for the next person. I have, let's see, Edgar Alfredo Menjiva. Show your object and try to give a short description about that, talking about the features. Um, okay. How, how many features does it, does it eat um, mouse? Okay, the mouse. Okay, thank you. Tell us about the, the features. Cuéntenos las características del mouse. Uh, uh, my mouse is, is a um, size uh, mi medium. Medium size? Uh -huh. Medium size. Um, the color is um, uh, um, uh, black. black. Este, <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice? Gris se me olvidó. Gray. Um, Great, uh, yeah. Um, es, eh, ¿Qué otra característica? Uh, The way, invéntese cuánto pesa. Ah, ok. Uh, The weight is... Unos, uh, the weight is... Uh, uh, ten... Uh, ten... Uh, ten uh, gramos, se volvió. Gram grams, grams, grams. Ten grams, ten grams. All right. Thank you so much. Good job. I go for the next person. Sulaima, what is your object and what are the features? Mm. Uh, my object is my backpack. All and right. The, the features are uh, my backpack have a charging cable. Mm -hmm. It's waterproof. Mm -hmm. And my backpack have a key code. All right, interesting. That's nice. I see the next person. Let's see, Josue. What about your object? My object is um, the pencil. The pencil is color red and blue. Mm -hmm. uh, the 
weight is um, five grams. The cost is zero point forty five cents. All right. Thank you so much. Good information. Juan Francisco, what about the object you have? What are the features? This radio mm -hmm. um, weighs 260 grams. Uh -huh. um, it has a battery, battery light around two hours. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Good job. I see the next person, Marvin Wilfredo. Uh, I have a charger cell phone. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very fast charge. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, uh, it's color black. Black? Mm -hmm. And what about the cost? Uh, uh, $20. $20, okay. Thank you so much. Miss Elsie. Uh, my pen weight um, mm -hmm. five grams. Mm -hmm. The cost is uh, three dollars. Right. And your color is black. All right. In this case, you say in its color because it's, it's a color. color it, it's a color is black. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, Francisco, what about you? <clears throat> Okay, my my address is a bottle of alcohol. All right. Mm -hmm. And this word is a um, sixty email. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's called Grace and kill ninety nine of uh, bacteria of <laughs> or Germans. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Next person, Mariela, what about the object that you have? Um, my object is a ring. Oh, interesting. All right. Tell us about it. Here. Wow. Uh, oh. The weight is uh, two grams. Mm -hmm. The stone is purple. Mm -hmm. A diamond. And, and um, is how do you say the material? Uh, the material, or it is the made of? The material is, <laughs> is made of, um, I se me olvidó, how do you say plata? Silver. Silver, okay. All right, thank you so much, thank you so much. Fabiola, what about your object? I have my problem. Uh, it's a Sorry, can you repeat that? Sanitizer. Sanitizer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the cost, the cost is $2. Uh, the mm -hmm. And how many milliliters does it have? Um, Milliliters. Milli 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 uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much. Let's see the next person. <laughs> Carla, what about you, Carla? Uh, okay. I my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the brand is Huawei. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, the screen is a uh, 6.5 inches. Inches, uh huh. And uh, is black. Mm -hmm. And uh, is uh, have a uh, finger finger I don't remember uh, finger pressing finger, and, uh, fingerprint scanner that's that's word <laughs> all right thank you so much that's all. 
thank you so much. Mr. Werner, what about the object that you have? Uh, the mask. Ah, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, um, how much uh, uh, does the mask cost? Uh, the cost is uh, 20, uh, 220 dollars. Wow. Uh, uh, which is uh, which is this characteristic? Uh, mm -hmm. The mask is metallic mesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, how much uh, resistance does the mask have? Mm -hmm. um, no sé cómo, uh, eight, uh, 850, no sé, es. 850. Eight, 860 Newton presence. Oh, interesting. Thank you so much. Eh? That, yes. is, that is an interesting item. Thank you. Miss Jennifer, what about the object that you have? Hi, my object is a photo print. Uh -huh, for a frame, no, pero, uh, and that, that, that's okay. okay. We understand uh, the idea. <laughs> <laughs> the color is gray. Uh, the weight is twenty grams. Twenty grams. The uh -huh. cushion is contained for mm -hmm. and the cost is twenty-three dollars. Twenty-three dollars. Wow! Thank you so much, Noemi. What about the object that you have? My, my object is a barrel work. Is your capacity? The capacity is, mm -hmm. capacity is say, the same, 750 milliliters. There's a... And uh, your color is black. In this case, it's color because the color of the bottle, it's color. Mm -hmm. Its color is black. Uh huh. And, uh, your. Um, your weight is its weight. Its, its weight is <laughs> its weight is uh, three thirty grams. Thirty grams. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Good job. Good job. Let's see who is missing to participate. Alguien que se me ha quedado uh, sin participar. Que diga yo si alguien no ha participado. No. Everybody participating? All right. I guess everybody participated. Thank you so much. I appreciate your participation on this one. Uh, just to finish on this one, on this class, I uh, will check on the attendance the last time. Right? As I told you three times, we check on this one. Vamos a chequear por última vez la asistencia. All right. Let's see. If you say, you say present. And that's it. Alejandra Marie. Joel Araujo, uh, Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso, Edgar Alfredo Mengíbar Pineda. Present teacher. Present, thank you so much. Elsie Janet. Present teacher. Right, thank you so much. Fabiola Georgina. Thank you so much. Francisco Javier. Done. All right, thank you so much. Irene Azucena. Irene Azucena. Jennifer Magali Morales. Present. Magali, Magali right? Uh, I remember. Josué Alberto. Present. All right, thank you so much. Juan Francisco. Present, people. Thank you so much. Julio Cesar. Hernández. I'm still here. All right, thank you so much. Carla Marta. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Carla Noemi López. Carla Noemi López. Not at this moment. Manuel Alejandro Rodríguez. Uh, Manuel de Jesús Montoya. Present. All right, thank you so much. Mariela de Los Ángeles. Present. All right, thank you so much. Marvin Wilfredo. I still here. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. The Werner. Present, you. Thank you. Noemi Córdoba. Present. 
Thank you so much. And Suleyma Ibon. Present teacher. All right. Thank you so much. Just double checking. Todos participaron en la última actividad? Yes. 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 All right. Thank you so much. As for today's objective was to be able to talk about features, right? Recuerden que el objetivo que teníamos al inicio es hablar acerca de características de objetos, ¿verdad? Y eso es lo que hemos eh, tratado de cubrir en esta en esta sesión, cómo preguntar qué son los contables, qué son los no contables, y al mismo tiempo, pues ustedes ya lo hicieron, dando descripción acerca de diferentes objetos que teníamos por ahí, right? So just for today. We are just finished and we are dismissed, right? Mm -hmm. Pues ya lo veo que ya estamos ahí como que ya con ánimos de camita, los entiendo. Gracias por su puntualidad y les recuerdo siempre que tenemos una tarea en la plataforma. Eh, mi recomendación sería que después de la clase se quede un ratito, entre a la plataforma, son cinco preguntas, no le va a tomar mucho tiempo y recuerde que usted la puede repetir. Si usted se sacó tal vez no el puntaje máximo, usted lo puede repetir porque el objetivo es usted que aprenda. Y ¿okay? en la práctica es que nosotros vamos a, a lograr el objetivo de aprender un idioma. Así que les animo a que completemos la tarea y pues nos vemos mañana. Espero que pasen. Una consulta una... antes de finalizar. Dígame, dígame. Uh, dígame. Tuve problemas para iniciar la plataforma y uh, escribí para que me ayudaran. Entonces, Ajá. En la plataforma me parece que está bloqueado por la cantidad de ocasiones en la que entré. No sé cuánto tiempo tardaría eso porque no me han dado una respuesta sobre eso. Ok. ¿Está usted en el grupo de WhatsApp? Sí. Ok, perfecto. No sé si ahí lo mencionó. No, lo hice con la persona directamente con el que okay. me ha estado enviando mensaje. Perfecto, perfecto. Entonces eh, yo voy a pasar, voy a tomar acá su nombre y le voy a escribir yo a mis compañeros también para ver que ellos le solventen y se puedan comunicar con usted. Y igual usted también ayúdeme comunicándose oh, con le, ellos para que... Le, le para... Puedo mandar la captura de pantalla al, al grupo. Sí, está bien, está bien, porque en el grupo de, en el grupo de WhatsApp están las personas de soporte técnico y también ahí le puede ayudar, ¿verdad? Entonces, tal vez para recordarles y que ellos también le puedan solventar a la prontitud. Okay, okay. Bueno, entonces, ha sido un gusto. Nice to meet you and we continue tomorrow. So, have a good night and a good day. Pasen una feliz noche y espero que pasen un feliz día mañana, aunque sea laboral, pero que, que sea de bien, ¿ok? See you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.